Okay, so next we'll look at the third exercise from the previous lecture. So let script B be the set of all open intervals with real endpoints, together with the relative complement of the set K in open intervals with real endpoints, where the set K is the set of all rational numbers of the form 1 over n, where n is a positive integer, and let x be any real number. Then as the set of reals is unbounded, there exist real numbers a and b, such that A is less than X, which is less than B. And so the point X is in the open interval from A to B. And hence there exists an element B in the collection script B that contains the point X. So now suppose that the point X is in the intersection of B sub 1 with b sub 2 where b sub 1 and b sub 2 are elements in the collection script b. Notice that either b sub 1 is an open interval from a to b or is the relative complement of the set k in the open interval from a to b for some real numbers A and B. Similarly, B sub 2 is either the open interval from C to D or the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from C to D for some real numbers C and D. So there are four cases. So case one, B sub one is the open interval from A to B, and B sub two is the open interval from C to D. Then in this case, A is less than X, which is less than B, and C is less than X, which is less than D. So as A is less than X, and X is less than D, we have that A is less than D. And as C is less than X, and X is less than B, we have that C is less than B. So let E be the larger of A and C, and let F be the smaller of B and D. Then the point X is in the open interval from E to F, which is a subset of the intersection of B sub 1 with B sub 2. Case 2, B sub 1 is the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B, and B sub 2 is the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from C to D. Then, as the point X is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B, X is in the open interval from A to B, and X is not in the set K. And as the point X is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from C to D, X is in the open interval from C to D, 
and x is not in the set k. So since x is in the open interval from a to b and is in the open interval from c to d, x is in the intersection of these intervals, Hence, as in case one, we have that the point x is in the open interval from E to F, which is a subset of the intersection of the interval from A to B with the open interval from C to D. So as the point x is not in the set K, we have that x is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from E to F, which is a subset of the relative complement of the set K in the intersection of the, inter of the interval from A to B with the interval from C to D. And this is the intersection of the intersection of the interval from A to B with the interval from C to D with the complement of the set K, which is the intersection of the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B with the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from C to D, and this is the intersection of b sub 1 with b sub 2. So case 3, b sub 1 is the open interval from a to b and b sub 2 is the relative complement of the set k in the open interval from c to d as the point x is in the relative complement of the set k in the open interval from c to d x is in the open interval from C to D, and x is not in the set K. So we have that the point x is in the open interval from A to B, and x is not in the set K. That is, x is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B. And hence, as in case two, the point x is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from E to F, which is a subset of the intersection of B sub 1 with B sub 2. Finally, case four, B sub one is the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B, and B sub two is the open interval from C to D. Now, as the point X is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from A to B, X is in the open interval from A to B, and X is not in the set K, so X is in the open interval from C to D, and X is not in the set K, that is, X is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from C to D, and hence, as in case two, X is in the relative complement of the set K in the open interval from E to F, which is a subset of the intersection of B sub 1 with B sub 2. And thus, in any case, there exists an element B sub 3 in the collection, script B, such that the point X is in this element, 
which is a subset of the intersection of b sub 1 with b sub 2. And therefore, the collection script b satisfies the conditions. for a topology generated by a basis now we will denote the space of reals with the K topology as R sub K. Now we will not be looking at all the topological properties of this space, but we will look at the ones that will distinguish this space from the real line, the sorgen Frey line, and the Michael line. Okay, so next we'll look at the set K. And in particular, we will show that the set K is closed in the space of reals with the K topology, but is not closed in the real line, the sorgen Frey line, or the Michael line. So proof. Since the complement of the set K is the union from n equals 1 to positive infinity of the relative complement of the set K in the intervals of the form, the open interval from negative n to n, and this is a union of basic open sets in the space of reals with the K topology, it is open. And hence the set K is closed in the space of reals with the K topology. Now in the real line, the sorgen Frey line, or the Michael line, a basic open set containing the number zero is either an open interval from A to B. In the case of the real line and the Michael line, or a half open interval from and including A to B. In the case of the sorgen Frey line, for some real numbers A and B. Now in either case it is true that A is less than or equal to zero which is strictly less than B. Now since zero is less than B, that is B is positive, there exists a positive integer N such that 1 over n is a positive number which is less 
then B. That is the rational number 1 over n is in the open interval from A to B, which is a subset of the half open interval from A to B. And so for every open neighborhood, u of the point zero in the real line, the sorgen frey line, or the Michael line, the intersection of that neighborhood u with the set k is not empty. And so the number zero is in, is in the closure of K. Now since zero is not in the set K, K is not equal to its closure. And hence the set K is not closed. And the real line, the Sorgenfrey line, or the Michael line.